Hello, Brandon. Yes. You have a trio of terror here. I have wonderful grinders for you. <laughs> These what? are uh, miniature grinders. Okay. <laughs> These are the Mythos uh, series by yes. Nuova Simonelli. Nuova Simonelli Mythos. Okay. So they come in three different varieties, um, and it's they're functionally the same inside a little bit with okay. just minor differences. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to start right here. This okay. is what's Mid -range. called the Mythos Basic. Okay. Okay. What this is, it's a dosing grinder. Okay, so it's going to give you three different options here, and it'll actually dose based on time. So mm -hmm. as opposed to having to turn it on, dose, 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 turn it off, I'm going to program these three buttons to actually dose however much coffee I want into my port filter. Okay. Um, it is a huge, huge, huge hopper. Yeah. It's actually inside of there. <laughs> Um, oh, it kind of settles I'm down in there. Not quite sure how much that holds, but I think it's like 20 million pounds. <laughs> Plus or minus. Yes. <laughs> um, so, this is what's called a basic model. So, all it is, it's purely a dosing machine. Okay. This machine is called the Plus. And what it is, it's the basic with an added tamper level on it. Okay. Right. So uh, their their burrs and their programming functionality is the same. Everything. Except this has a tamper you can use. Everything is exactly the same. Yes. Okay. So that's the only difference is this going to give you tamper. So if you're one of those people that really just you know want to tamp it yourself, you're just mm -hmm. looking for the dosing function. Boom. There you, you go. Take that. Okay. If you're one of those that want to actually have it automated, and I call this almost a super automatic. <laughs> of a grinder. Um, it's going <laughs> to dose it for you. It's going to tamp it to you when you push it down. If you notice, I can't push it any further. Yeah. So it will not over tamp that for you. Okay. okay. The big thing with these is speed, speed, speed. So we're going to okay. go ahead and do this right here. And if you want, I'm going to show you the counter on there. Mm -hmm. But as we go. 3.74 seconds. There you go. That's the whole thing. Nicely smooth tamp, okay, yep. cool. It's quick, it's yeah. easy, uh, it's consistency, and mm -hmm. that's what you're going for. Okay, and then what do we got on the left here? Okay, so this is one of their newer ones that's coming out. It's called the Clima Pro. Okay. Um, it integrates a couple different things. This is for very high-end shops, people doing high-end um, single origins or very, mm -hmm. very high-end coffee. Uh, one of the big things it integrates is a heating element into the chamber. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of funny because yeah. people are always like, oh, I don't want to get in too hot. Um, in cafe settings, though, you're going to find it's it's almost a little different of that. Right okay. now, if you put your hand on there and feel that, feel cold that is. Yeah. Okay. That's going to affect your shot massively. Now, I don't know if we ran enough through here. If you can even get your hand in, it's, and you can't really feel it. But as you run okay. that inside, there's that's going to start heating up. Mm -hmm. As it heats, that changes your grind. grind. It changes okay. everything. So if I let this sit like this and come and grind, after I do maybe two or three grinds, it's going to be different because it's now going to be up to temperature. So you're going to need to change your grind to make up for that. Yep. Or okay. waste some coffee up front and, and, and get it run up get through. to where you are. Okay. So what this does, it puts a heating element in there to maintain a solid temperature. So now I walk away for 30 minutes, I come back, my grinds, everything's going to be the same. I don't have to make any changes. Okay. Now, so I guess, how does that then play with the concern of, you know, my coffee is too hot and yada yada? So this one tries to go against uh, that temperature from a different angle. Okay. okay. So what Mythos grinders do, they're flat bird grinders. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they are 75 millimeter, okay. 75 millimeter bird grinders okay. in there. Okay. But when you think of flat bird grinders, we always think flat, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to come down. It's got to crush it. It's got to use RPMs to throw it out. Mm -hmm. What this does is it lifts them straight up and down. So we're mimicking a conical grinder in the sense that it's gravity fed. So if, I you, see. if you look right here, what I have is I've got these burrs and they're sitting at basically a little bit of an angle and that's gonna come, coffee's gonna come down from the top and it's gonna funnel down through here. I see, so they, these are the burrs right here. Yes, right behind here. That's fancy. So the, what, the idea there is again, is the quicker that I can get that out of there, mm -hmm. um, I can bring the RPMs down a little bit. That's what Conicals have always done. You have these you know, 700 RPM grinders. Yeah. This one here is going to run, I believe, at about 400 RPMs. It's it's low. Okay. Okay. So really, that's not our issue. That heat's dissipating out. I see. Okay. And we're bringing it straight down. So we're not having to run those really high RPMs where I'm having to throw it, which is contributing to that heat issue. So this guy over here is for a, a more high end kind of very yep. focused single origin shop. Yep. This guy in the middle is just sort of the run of the mill, you entry know, level. entry level. And then our tamper guy is kind of taking any guesswork out of your uh, consistency for yep. your for your barista. This is how I turn a regular traditional machine into a super automatic. Combine this with a 
a volumetric machine and, and it's you basically pretty close. have a two-step super on that. Okay, um, now how can I go in here and change the dosing and yep. stuff like that? One more thing before we go oh, to that. You sorry. saw how quick this dosed out. Yes. This is a low RPM. It's about double the time. So okay. 3.7 seconds there, we're looking at seven about. seconds for the same amount here. Okay. Okay. All of these programmings are the exact same. Mm -hmm. You have, as you saw, the three buttons, single, double, triple. You've got this button here, which is doing nothing right now. Mm -hmm. And then this button takes us into continuous. If we hit both of these together, now, real quick, I hit one of those three, hit my lever down there, and it doses whatever there it was programmed for. Yep. And then, um, the, what's this play button? So that right now is doing nothing. Okay. Okay. Real quick though, just to show you that. So let's do the shortest one, 1. 1.9 seconds. What's going to happen is I'm going to push this in. Shuts off automatically. Okay. So I'm still holding the button, but obviously it's doing. Nothing. So you don't have to like hit it and release. Exactly. Okay. So that's what that's doing. No. From here, we want to go into our programming mode. So mm -hmm. you see how I hit both of those buttons? Mm -hmm. This is a little finicky. If you don't hit them both the exact same time, it doesn't go in. Okay. But once that's in, I'm in programming mode. Now I can come in here and I can change that. Mm -hmm. So you saw that was 1.9 seconds. Let's say I want to take it up to two. Okay. Now is when this little play button comes into effect because mm -hmm. now I can hit set. I see. Makes okay. sense? So now I'm in there, you can see it's at two. If you're in there and you're trying to play around to figure out what you need to do, you can hit this little test button. Mm -hmm. Hit that little test button. I got to get activated first. <laughs> if my goal is to see what that looks like, I can now test it and say, oh, no, I need to be a higher. Bit more. Let's okay. go to 2.1. That's nice. So that's where that gets. And then once you're there, you hit set. Because okay. otherwise, you'd have to always go back out of programming mode. Okay. Same thing through all of these, basically. So I can go through and set anything that I want. Is there anything else in the menu? In that particular menu? No. But oh, yes, no, just, there just is more the... through here. Okay. So the way you funnel through this menu is by hitting. Oops, I gotta get through that. Okay, and then you hit this button right here. Okay. That takes you through this menu. So real quick, I mean, everything. It's just all the, okay. But I'm gonna take you through that slower. Okay. So you can actually see it. All right, thank you. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay, gotta get out of the continuous mode to do oh, that. okay. So as we go through, Okay, we have what's called a delay. That one second delay is from the time that I hit this button, there's a one second delay. Okay. Okay. Um, so as I take my porta filter and push it in, I want to delay how long that is just to um, activate against me accidentally touching it. Okay. So if I didn't want to actually start it, you got to be committed. Hold it for a second. I see. Um, next thing is a pulse setting. You don't really have to worry too much about that, but you can hit this little, if we're in a, like a barista mode, I can hit this button and pulse it for 0.5. Okay. So if I want it, just a little extra up dose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dose count's gonna tell me what's been done. How As many? you can see, brand new grinder. I just yeah. did one. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get back out of there. That's gonna be my pulses. Okay. Back from here, total count. It's done a whole whopping five. It's a lot of a lot of shots there. Mm -hmm. um, start number doesn't have to worry about anything from there. That's just giving a little bit of um, a little bit of options. This tells me how long this is continuously ran for. So okay. Thirteen seconds, give or take. Um, general time, 19 seconds, means the entire machine. That mm -hmm. last one was just showing me, you could see what was blinking. Mm -hmm. It was just showing me what it's ran there. Okay. Um, oops, I just went right through the maintenance category. Yeah. The maintenance was just on or off is okay. what you want to do. Default settings, if I want to take it back to factory de default, I can take it back to where they set it originally. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really cool option here. So operation, we leave this in auto, which is what you just saw. One, mm -hmm. two, and three buttons in a continuous. Okay. You can take this into a, we're going to change it right here, into either manual mode, which would be you're just strictly continuous, or you can take it into what's called barista. Okay. And what, I'm going to change it into barista just so you can see what that looks like. Um, and let me pull back out of here real quick just so you can see that. What Barista allows you to do is make adjustments. So I have a program that's 2.82, but let's say I'm grinding and weather changes and I need to make a change. Mm -hmm. I want to updose it. As opposed to holding this, getting into there, mm -hmm. reprogramming it, I can just make a quick change. Oh, okay. and that's your just up and down over here. Exactly, you see the okay. minus and plus. So if I'm sitting there and it's 2.82 and all of a sudden the grind changed, I get in there and I make a change to the grind and I need an extra 0.2 seconds out mm -hmm. of it, I just hit a button. 
So this is really for somebody kind of really will understand what those yeah. changes might be and why you would do them and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. This is, this is, again, it's called the Brees menu for a reason. You want to have a Brees as someone that knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. If we want to lock it in place, don't let anyone touch it, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Or we can make it simpler to make changes on the fly. Cool. All right. Okay. Um, from there, to get back out of Brees mode, you just hold those two. And then I'm going to really quickly go back to barista. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change this back to auto. So I'm going to hit the change button again. That's manual. That's auto. And now I can pull through there. Okay. Uh, stop and go is going to allow you to stop and go basically. So stop if you mm -hmm. want to keep going. Uh, right now we've got to set the off because it's just the, the default on that. Yeah. Change your password. Uh, there really isn't a password on here, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you can set a password if you want to. If you if you didn't want anybody, just anybody to go in and be able to do this stuff. Yeah. Anyone okay. that's watching my video that's like, let's go play with these now. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, and then, of course, change your language. If you want to be in English, you can do that as well. All right. From there, it pulls us back out. Okay? And now we're, now we're back where we started. And that's the whole programming feature. Mm -hmm. Now, to get into here, this is a little stiff, especially if it's new, but mm -hmm. you've got to push that in and pull okay. it down, okay? This gets me into my grind adjustment. Oh. So if I wanna go finer or coarser, mm -hmm. okay, you can see right at the very bottom, I don't know if you can zoom into that, there's a little set screw right there. Uh, yes. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So that actually, if you see it's it's held up against there. That's a set point that does not let me go through there. Okay. Okay. Same thing as I turn it fine, now you can see I have that. That gives me a range. So okay. if you want to, you know, your braces cannot really mess up your grind too much. Okay. A little Allen wrench, you get in there and you can make a change if you have to, but that locks it in so they can't make too many changes. So am I accessing, like um, for cleaning and care and maintenance, am I accessing my burrs f from this direction? For you, no, you're not accessing your burrs. I'm um, just not, period. You're no. like, just not going to let me. No, I'm not going to. I'm not licensed you. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the answer is yes, your burrs go in through there, but to get into them, um, let's actually go into this one over here. Okay. So... Over into here, there's a couple of things you have to do. Right now, you see that it's locked in there? Yeah. Okay. There's a little lever that's right here. Okay. If you, you probably want to get under here just to see it. It's a little sliding lever that goes left to right. So if I pull this out, okay, that's going to allow me to lift this out of here. Am I caught in there? I need to look. Oh. Oops, sorry. There, there we go. Pull it all okay. the way out, and then I can actually take this off. Okay. Okay. This is a safety switch. When this is off, that has to be activated for it to work. If I were to turn this on right now, it won't work. I see. Okay, to protect your fingers. But you can see going down inside there. Oh. So that's the whole burr. Mm -hmm. That's everything that's in there. Okay. To actually get into your burrs, you're going to have to take off this whole front panel. Yeah. You really don't want to do that. Um, you do have this. You can slide this little clip up. I don't know if I can actually get this out of here. So that slides up. But this is your whole working area. Got so it. if you wanted to do it, and I would not recommend doing it, you can <laughs> pop those four screws off. This comes out, and now I can actually get into my burrs. Okay, so um, if you don't recommend doing that, then what am I doing for care and maintenance? Just um, running grinds and then yeah. occasionally having a tech look, look at it? Yeah. or Running okay. grinds. Um, over 11, 1200 pounds or so, have a tech come out and put new burrs inside of it. Okay. Uh, the reason I don't recommend it, it's just, it's a little bit more complex Absolutely. than the old one where you just kind of screw it off. Yeah. If you strip one of these screws or if you break a screw inside of it and mm -hmm. this doesn't go back in level, you you're, have a 3000 pound grind that's not working. It's a uh, paperweight. It's a paperweight. Okay. Um, but you can see how simple this system is. Coffee yeah. feeds in right through here and the chamber comes back right here. Mm -hmm. The um, One of the big things that the Mythos has really been trying to do is fight against the hold back. Okay. Um, and if anyone doesn't know what that is, on your grinder there's always a little chamber, there's a little chute that comes out. You'll see them on like some of our Mazer grinders. Mm -hmm. um, and there's always a certain amount of what's called hold back, which means coffee that's already ground. So as I'm grinding new coffee, I'm pushing that out. Mm -hmm. uh, traditional grinders can have seven, eight, nine grams worth of coffee. The Mythos is down to I think like a gram. Okay. It is not a lot of because it's back. really just like I'm um, grinding. There's there's not a long shoot there. No, nope, it's completely gravity feed. I mean, you can yeah. see this little round part. That's mm -hmm. the burrs are actually sitting there. Okay. Look where my spout is. Yeah. It's right at that. So what's actually in there? They're aiming for zero, but it's it's a tiny amount. Cool. Okay. Um, so again, really, what you're looking at is basic. It's a dosing grinder. It gives you three options. It's quick. You can dose out three and a half, four seconds for that 14 gram shot. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, 
doesn't give anything else except for just that dosing function. Okay. This gives you the plus. The tamper. Okay. And what's nice about this one versus the others is if you didn't want to use the auto tamper all the time, mm -hmm. okay. I left it sitting on for a few <laughs> seconds. But if you wanted to tamp yourself, yeah. I don't have to use that tamper. Okay. So I can now bring it over here and tamp. So you just have more options for somebody maybe who is learning and it doesn't feel comfortable tamping on their own. Yep. Yep. So you have that option to do it or I can take that back. Mm -hmm. Also, because of the fact that you have that, if I'm working with multiple grinders, yeah. I only maybe need to have one of these okay. and I can have one of these other ones or a different grinder sitting there because I can and just still take have it to... in and do it. Okay. Okay. And then you get into this one here, which again, this is really, this is gonna be your most expensive one. It's your mm -hmm. highest end one. It is gonna be very, very grind consistent. It's okay. gonna be very, very consistent as far as maintaining, taking as many variables out, mm -hmm. okay? But it's gonna be slower because mm -hmm. you're getting a, a much higher quality grind. Cool. So you're doing that for a purpose. All right, so that is the Mapo series by Nuova Simonelli. Thanks, Thank you guys. very much, Brandon.